Aaron Carter's autopsy report has revealed the cause of death of the singer, five months after his tragic demise. As per the copy of an autopsy report obtained by Page Six on Tuesday, the late singer died from drowning in the effects of difluoroethane, which is a flammable gas, often used as the propellant in cans of compressed air, and alprazolam, a generic form of Xanax. While, the manner of singer's death, was ruled accidental in the autopsy, the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's report also confirmed that, Carter was submerged in his bathtub after inhalation of compressed gas, and intake of alprazolam. For the unversed, difluoroethane is a colorless, odorless gas which can cause frostbite and is easily ignited. According to medical experts, alprazolam is a tablet-form drug and is consumed to treat, depression and fear of open spaces. Carter was 34-year-old, when he was found dead in a bathtub at his home in Lancaster, on November 5, 2022. The autopsy report also revealed that, the singer was unresponsive and had no life-threatening, traumatic injuries at the time of his passing, also adding that he was pronounced dead at the scene. The family has been notified and will be flying out to Los Angeles. Aaron worked very hard towards the end of his life in recovery, to be a good father and to make amends with his family, his rep told Page Six at the time. At the time of his death, Carter's body was discovered by his housekeeper, who was yelling when she called 911 for help. The I Want Candy singer's mom, Jane Carter, urged for a real investigation into her son's death, as she refused to believe that, her son died of an accidental overdose. They never investigated it as a possible crime scene, because of his addiction past, she wrote in March on Facebook, while sharing grisly images from Aaron's death scene. In addition to that, the singer's pals too, were suspicious of the circumstances surrounding, their late friend's death. He would always be paranoid about people being, after him or, that, somebody is after him, explained Brian Cassidy, who was pretty close to the singer, for the last three years of his life.